Welcome to the future of Excel. This is Excel Magic Trick 1769. And in this video, we got to talk about accounting and finance, spilled array formulas. When we accumulate in an additive process like a checkbook balance or a multiplicative process like calculating investment value, 40 years of Excel history, and there was no way to do a spilled array formula until the new function scan and lambda. Now in finance, we might have returns for each period and a starting amount. Well, we'd use an old school formula. And notice, this formula is going to use a relative cell reference, always looking at one cell above, which is the previous balance. And then we're going to multiply it by 1, which is for the principal, plus whatever the rate of change is. Close parentheses, and we Control Enter and double click and send it down. But the problem with the spilled array is how in the world do I get that relative cell reference right there? The orange one's not a problem because that's an array of values that we're going to iterate over. Now, if we think of this as the initial value and we're multiplying it by something, this is a multiplicative process, and we can use the accumulator function scan. What's the initial value? Well, that's the initial value, comma. And the array, we're going to use these values, and we're going to iterate row by row across those returns, comma. And the argument wants a function that can iterate row by row. Well, the way we in Microsoft 365 Insider Edition, but in the future, all of us will have this amazing function, lambda, which allows us to define a function value in the worksheet. Now, lambda needs to communicate with scan. And notice scan has an initial value. That's the starting point for the accumulator. And then it has an array where we're going to iterate row by row. But lambda is built to work with scan. And it needs two parameters or two variables and then the formula. Now, whatever name we give to the parameters or variables, they relate exactly to the first value for the accumulating position, and then the row by row array. So I'm going to call it for the first parameter, the name is A for accumulator, comma. This is the second parameter that relates to that row by row array. So I'm going to call it R comma, and then this is where we make our calculation. We're always going to start, just like with the relative cell reference, with that first accumulated value. Then we're going to multiply it by, in parentheses, 1 plus. Well, we need the return from each row. So we put the R variable and close parentheses. That's our formula or calculation. Close on lambda, close on scan. And these two functions will work together when I hit Enter to spill the results. Now, of course, this is a spilled array, so none of the formulas or cells below the top cell actually house the formula. It's only that top cell that houses the formula. Now, this was a multiplicative process to accumulate the new value based on the previous value. If we come down here in accounting, we're always having to track our checkbook balance or whatever the account is. Notice, if I make an old school formula equals one cell above, that's the previous balance for every row, plus whatever the change is as a relative cell reference. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. But we have the same pattern. The formula is always looking at a relative cell reference, one cell above, and it's iterating across this range here. So we can come over and scan, because we're iterating and accumulating. The initial value will be that, comma, the array, these change values, comma, and the function, lambda. A for accumulator, comma, R for row, comma. And this one's simple. It's just, hey, A plus R. Close on lambda. Close on scan. And when I hit Enter, that is absolutely beautiful. We have relative cell references, one above for multiplicative. Scan and lambda can do it. We have relative cell references, 
one above and iterating across a row in an additive process to calculate a balance, Scan and Lambda can do that too. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe because there's always lots more videos in the future of Excel. And this is a little glimpse at spilled arrays and the future of Excel. All right, we'll see you next video.